Hello, my name is North, and I'm bringing you some Black Ops 2 Wii U gameplay onto my channel. This is definitely the best Black Ops 2 gameplay that I've got since returning to the game um, after not playing it for a month. If you guys have played with me or against me over the past couple of days, then you know that I have been struggling to get back to grips with this game. I'm struggling with the Wii Remote. It definitely isn't overpowered. I see a lot of people saying that it is overpowered. Um, I've already talked about this in another video last month, but I think these people just saying that the Wii Remote is overpowered is them coming up with an excuse for them losing the gunfight. It's never their fault that they lost a gunfight. I definitely think there is a settling in period with the Wii Remote. It's like I've been using the Wii Remote for three years with games like Golden Eye Wii. But if I haven't played with the Wii Remote for about a month, then I always tend to struggle to start off with. I always think there is a bedding in period with the Wii Remote. It definitely takes time to master it again. So, yeah, I definitely don't think the Wii Remote is overpowered. And I think it does take more skill than the dual analogs. And I'm sure that comment will spark a debate in the comments, but yeah, I just think that's how it is within um, the Wii U Call of Duties. In this gameplay, I am playing with Cox Dev, and in yesterday's video, I was playing against Terra Jappa. It's always really fun for me to play against people who watch my content. It is one of the most fun things for me about Black Ops 2. Um, so yeah, in this video, I will be talking about Black Ops 3 and my plans for future content because I'm really, really excited for the game. Um, Black Ops 2 and Black Ops for the Wii are two of my favourite Call of Duties. I have put in round about 500 hours into um, Black Ops 2. That's probably approaching 600 hours now. Um, so, you know, I really enjoy Black Ops 2 and, you know, I'm really excited for the game. But I just have the feeling that it won't be coming out for the Wii U and, you know, I really want to make content for the game. And, you know, I do have plans to pick up a PS4. And one of the reasons why I want to pick up a PS4 is for Black Ops 3. So I'm guaranteed to get it. Um, so what I will be asking within this video is... I'm thinking about making Black Ops 3 news videos that aren't related to the Wii U. Will you guys be okay with that? I know I am a Wii U only channel at this moment in time. And I would still be covering Black Ops 3 Wii U news if there is any. But because I am going to be picking up a PS4. And because I am going to be picking up Black Ops 3 regardless. I really want to make content for the game now. Just because I'm really, really excited for it. So would you guys be okay with me doing Black Ops 3 news videos. Or would you be totally against me doing that. Let me know in the comment section below. Pretty much I've been doing these news videos for games that I am excited about for around about a couple of years ago now. I first started off doing these news videos for games that I'm excited about with 007 Legends. So it's something which isn't really new to my channel but I guess in terms of the platforms it is because some of the news that I might cover within these Black Ops 3 um, news roundup videos might not be related to the Wii U. So. That is why I wanted to ask you guys whether I should do it or not. Um, and also let me know if you want me to do these news videos. Whether you want me to cover leaks or do you just want me to cover concrete news. I know some YouTubers, they've made about 50 flipping videos talking about Black Ops 3 already. Even though there hasn't been any news. They've just been talking about leaks which are clearly fake. Um, so, yeah, that's why I want to ask you guys whether you want me to cover um, leaks. Um, if I was to cover leaks, then it probably would only just be the um, Snapchat leaks and not just some box arts that just get floated about, um, which people probably make through Photoshop. I won't, I won't cover that sort of leak, but the leaks that I would cover are something like the Snapchat, where it's coming from Call of Duty to themselves. So... Yeah, I just wanted to ask you guys about, you know, whether I should make Black Ops 3 news videos or not. Um, 
I think it would be a good way um, to bridge the gap over to the PS4. Um, if I was to upload Black Ops 3, then it would be quite a bit of a shock for me just to, you know, do Black Ops 2 on the Wii U, and then all of a sudden upload PS4 content. I guess if I did do Black Ops 3 news videos, then it would be a good way to gradually build you guys in to the PS4 content, which will be coming up later on this year on my channel. So, yeah, I just really wanted to ask you guys whether I should make Black Ops 3 news videos or not. I think it is important for me to ask you guys because you know you guys are really important for what I do on my channel and I really do care about your opinions about my channel and yeah let me know your thoughts about my channel as a whole are you happy with the content that I am making at this moment in time or do you want me to make more content like more live commentaries or more commentaries like this one or more news roundup videos or less of the PC stuff or more of the PC stuff. Your feedback is really, really important. So, yeah, I really do want you guys to have your say about me doing Black Ops 3 news videos um, in terms of news that isn't really related to the Wii U. Like I said at the start, if I was to do Black Ops 3 news videos for the other consoles, I would still be doing Black Ops 3 Wii U news. It's just that I am going to be picking up a PS4 I'm really excited for Black Ops 3, and it is something which I want to do on my channel. So, yeah, I just thought I'd ask you guys first before I just start making tons of Black Ops 3 news videos. By the way, if I was to do Black Ops 3 news content, then that wouldn't just be the only things that I'd do. Um, I would still be doing the normal stuff that I am doing right now on my channel. I wouldn't just drop everything just to do Black Ops 3 news. That's just not what's going to happen on my channel. Black Ops 3 will be a part of it if I was to do Black Ops 3 news videos, but you guys know I do tons of stuff already, and I'm not going to drop all of that stuff because I really do like making that sort of content. So, yeah, that is the end of this video. I have overrun the gameplay, so I must apologise about that. Again, I really need you guys to have your say in the comment section below because it will help to shape the future of my channel. So yeah, I'll see you in my next video. If you have enjoyed this one, please don't forget to hit that thumbs up button because it really does help this video out. And if you're new to my channel and you're interested in more content from myself, then make sure you hit that subscribe button. And yeah, I'll see you within my next video. Goodbye.